Hello and welcome friends, another episode of my newest acquisitions. This time I have for you a beautiful, beautiful desk set from the 1930s or 1940s Italy. It is a special made desk stand. You can um, see that it, it is a imprint here. And I hope I read it correctly. Ipophosfiti Guidotti. And this particular name, I did some uh, questioning on some Facebook groups. And um, I found out that this is an Italian chemical pharmaceutical um, company from that period, from the 30s. And it is still in activity in um, present days. I don't know about the lighting, but I want to show you the patterns. It has some little marks and I don't know how to remove them. You can see them, but um, the marble is quite, quite uh, interesting. It has uh, some um, yellowish lines, some green lines and overall a beautiful, beautiful stand quite heavy but um, it's solid it has some little uh, chips look one here one here but for its age it is in a beautiful beautiful shape it has this system so you can rotate it has um, this part which i believe it is um, hard rubber interesting that the hard rubber uh, hasn't that um, brownish pattern that we see on the fountain pen so this part is brown and this is hard rubber this unscrews like this and it reveals the button filler system if you push this button there is a metallic lever inside and that applies pressure on the sack and the sack draws the ink another beautiful beautiful thing it is the warranted oro 585 so um, when you encounter warranted on a nib you automatically think of the nibs made out of gold in usa or in england but uh, this has an interesting imprint oro and oro in uh, italian means gold so maybe it was a nib made in the us or the uh, uk but especially for the italian market on the back we have a simple simple ebonite feed and this beautiful greenish celluloid barrel it is a green uh, let's say green marbled and an interesting thing we have forever fountain pen i hope you can see I've uh, made a little research and I found out that uh, this brand forever was mentioned in the book of Letizia Giacopini, La Storia della Stilografica in Italia from the 1900s till uh, the 1950s and um, also in the book of Emilio Dolcini, Oma Stilografice dal 1925 a oggi uh, omas the story of um, fountain pens from 1925 till uh, present days unfortunately you know that uh, omas isn't um, with us anymore it went into bankruptcy and closed its gates in uh, 2015 i believe but um, in those books, they stated that Forever 
were part of the omas made to order. There were fountain pens made by omas for other firms. And Leticia Jacobini, uh, the, she's, she is uh, on the opinion that not all the forever fountain pens were made by the omas uh, fountain pen company. So I have to do my research to see if I find on this fountain pen similar elements that were, that were found on other omas products from that period. And um, I will know that uh, this uh, forever was made by Omas or by other Italian manufacturer at uh, that uh, period of time. I didn't tell you what I paid for this fountain pen. I paid 52 euros or uh, 57 American dollars. So including the stand. And uh, I think I did uh, okay. It is a good price for uh, such an important piece of Italian fountain pen um, history. A beautiful, beautiful example from the 1930s or the 1940s. Indeed made for this pharmaceutical company directly by OMAS or subcontracted by other pen manufacturers. But I believe this is an OMAS product by this uh, stand of high quality and uh, by this uh, rotative system which is uh, quite a qualitative um, ingenious method from that period and um, I think it could only be done by OMAS at that time. I leave you with the beautiful beautiful stand. I'm uh, very proud of it. And uh, stay tuned because I will do a review. It writes beautifully. I think it's an amnib or a broad nib. I have to do more writing to tell you guys. Thank you again for being part of my new acquisitions. I wish you a nice day. Stay tuned for the review. Please subscribe, tell your friends, comment and uh, be part of my journey into vintage and new fountain pens. Thank you. Bye-bye.